Hello class! For today's session, we will be discussing ellipse with center at HK with the following objectives. First, we have to express the general form of the equation of an ellipse to its standard form and graph the ellipse. I'm going to show you the standard forms, the orientation, and its description. So the first standard form of an ellipse with center at hk is given by this formula x minus h quantity squared all over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared all over b squared is equal to 1, where c squared equals a squared minus b squared. This is its orientation. So as you can see, the major axis is horizontal and the minor axis is vertical. This is its description. So the center is at HK, foci is at H plus minus C, K, vertices H plus minus A, K, co-vertices H, K plus minus B, major axis is Y equals K, minor axis x equals h and the length of the major axis is 2a and the length of the minor axis is 2b. Now for the second standard form, x minus h quantity squared all over b squared plus y minus k quantity squared all over a squared equals 1 where c squared equals a squared minus b squared, its orientation looks like this. So, here in this graph, the major axis is vertical and the minor axis is horizontal. And these are the description or the elements of the ellipse. The center is at HK. Foci or foci is at H or R at H, K plus minus C. Vertices are at H, K plus minus A. Co-vertices are at H plus minus B, K. The major axis is X equals H, minor axis Y equals K, and the length of the major axis and the minor axis are 2A and 2B respectively. So again, these are the standard forms, its respective orientation and descriptions of the ellipse with center at HK. Let us have this example. Consider the equation 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 40x plus 36y plus 100 equals 0. So as you can see in our equation, this is still in general form. So we have to first express this to standard form before we can graph for us to determine the center and the constant which are a b and c so to express this to standard form first is we have to group the terms having the same variables we will have 4x squared minus 40x group them and then plus 9y squared plus 36y and then isolate the constant so this will become negative 100 then after that factor out 4 in here and 9 in this group so factor out 4, we'll have x squared minus 40x divided by 4 is 10x. Then plus, factor out 9, it's 9 times the quantity of y squared plus 36y divided by 9 is 4y. And then, just copy 
the right hand side of the equation. Okay, next, our purpose of this, guys, is to make this this perfect square trinomial. So we have to complete the square. What are we going to add in here to make this a perfect square trinomial? And also this one. Okay, so again, let's copy 4. Then you have x squared minus 10x. What are we going to add here to make this a perfect square trinomial? Okay, so that is 25. 10 divided by 2, square root, that's, that's 25. Then here you have 9 times the quantity of y squared plus 4y. What are we going to add in here? Okay, so that's 4. 4 divided by 2, quantity squared is 4, equals negative 100. You notice that on the left-hand side of the equation, we have already added some uh, values. So, we must not forget to add the same values that we have added on the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So, in here, we have added... 25 times 4 which is 100 and also 9 times 4 which is 36 okay so now balance na siya then express this into in its factors or square of a binomial so 4 Factor this out, this will become x minus 5 quantity squared plus 9 times the quantity of, factor this, it will have y plus 2 quantity squared equals negative 100 plus 100 plus 36, this gives us 36. Okay, next is malapit na. Make sure that the right-hand side of the equation in our standard form I 1. So, i-divide natin to everything by 36. Okay? Divide this one by 36 by 36. Then the result would be, the simplified answer would now be our standard form for this general form. Okay? So, simplify this. Our equation would now be x minus 5 quantity squared all over, that's 4 divided by 36 is 1 over 9. So 9 in here, plus 9 divided by 36 is 1 fourth. So you'll have y plus 2 quantity squared, so that's this is 4, and 36 divided by 36 is equal to 1. So this is now the standard form of the equation of an ellipse with general equation 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 40x plus 36y plus 100 equals 0. Now we are ready to graph the equation x minus 5 quantity squared all over 9 plus y minus 2 quantity squared all over 4 equals 1. Guys, in, in graphing conic sections, you always have two options. In this case, for ellipse with center at hk, the first option you can have is determine all the, all the elements, all its coordinates for center, vertices, foci, covertices, using the formulas that I have presented and then plot these points on the Cartesian plane then graph. Now in case you don't memorize the formulas all you have to do is just determine the center and the values of a b and c and then graph. Let's try to do the first or the second option. So what is the center? What's the center in our given equation? 
x minus 5 quantity squared all over 9 plus y plus 2 quantity squared all over 4 equals 1. Okay, so the center is at 5, negative 2. What about the values of A, B, and C? For us to be able to determine the values of the constants A, B, and C, we have to identify the orientation of this graph. So between the denominators 9 and 4, 9 is larger. So this means that since 9 is under x minus 5 quantity squared term, therefore the orientation of this ellipse is horizontal. In other words, the major axis is horizontal, the minor axis is vertical. And this follows the standard form which is x minus h quantity squared all over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared all over b squared is equal to 1. So the value of a squared is 9. The value of b squared is 4. So the square root of a the square root of uh, 9 is 3. Let's just take the principal root. The square root of 4 is 2. So we need to find the value of c. So by the definition, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Okay, so since a squared is 9, b squared is 4. So therefore, c squared is equal to 5 and c is equal to square root of 5. So these are the values. You have a is 3, b is 2, and c is square root of 5. So we can now graph this in our Cartesian plane. Okay. Let us be guided with what we have solved a while ago. Okay. So the center is at 5, negative 2. 5, negative 2. Plot these points now. Plot this point in our Cartesian plane. So it's 5, negative 2. It's here. So this is the center. Okay. 5, negative 2. And then, since the value of A is 3, again, the major axis is horizontal. So, count 3 units to the right, 3 units to the left for our vertices. So, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so, this is our first vertex. What are the coordinates of this point? Okay, that's correct. It's 2, negative 2. And then 3 units to the right also. 1, 2, 3. This is our vertex 2. With coordinates. Ano coordinates nito? You have 8, negative 2. Now, to de determine the co-vertices, our V, our B, I mean, is 2. Okay, so count two units downward, two units upward for our co-vertices. So one, two. Okay, this is our one of our co-vertices having the coordinates of five, negative four. So five, negative four. And then two units up, one, two. So ito siya, and ito. This is our second co-vertex with coordinates 5, 0. And then, what about the foci or foci? 
that is square root of c is equal to square root of 5. So square root of 5 is between square root of 4 and square root of 9. So therefore, square root of 5 is between 2 and 3. Okay, so 1, 2, somewhere here, 1, 2, so this is our fossil 1 with coordinates 5 minus square root of 5, negative 2. For the coordinates of f sub 2, we have 5 plus square root of 5, negative 2. So these are the coordinates of the foci. Now we can sketch the graph of the ellipse. So graph it with a smooth curve. Okay, there we go. We have the graph of the ellipse with equation x minus 5 quantity squared. x minus 5 quantity squared all over 9 plus y plus 2 quantity squared all over 4 equals 1. And these are the vertices, co-vertices. And the foci. And we have the minor axis and we have the major axis. Okay. Then we can fill up the information here. The vertices v sub 1 is at 2, negative 2, v sub 2 is at 8, negative 2. Foci, we have at 5 plus minus square root of 5, negative 2. Covertices of 5, negative 4. And 5, 0. Length of the major axis. Since a is a is two a is three, so therefore length of the major axis is two a, so that's equal to six. The length the value of b is two, the minor axis length is two b, so that's four units. Okay. Thank you.